So you've mixed a bunch of ingredients together and now you have a cocktail. But how do you know it's right? How do you know it's balanced? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you just that. On the surface, making cocktails is really, really easy. You throw a bunch of stuff together, you shake it or you stir it, you pour it out and you're good to go, right? Well, not really. Just because you can throw a bunch of stuff together doesn't necessarily make for a good cocktail. And uh, one of the most important skills you can learn as someone who makes cocktails is uh, to really know and learn what a perfectly balanced cocktail is. Now, that gets a little bit more complex because every style of cocktail is a little bit different, but um, today I'm gonna show you a very, very basic way to kind of train yourself to really start to understand the nuances between um, a balance. So the key when making cocktails is to get a well-balanced cocktail, is to get all the disparate different kind of flavors to kind of meet in the middle and make for an incredible experience. Um, you can kind of look at it based on certain templates of cocktails. So for example, uh, what we're gonna be doing here today is we're gonna take a very basic sour, which is two parts strong to one part sugar and one part citrus. Um, this is a category of, of cocktails that kind of encompasses a lot of different things. Um, specifically, what we're going to be making here today is a daiquiri. This would work really well with a whiskey sour, a caipirinha, or anything along those lines where it's two parts spirit, one part sweet, and one part citrus. It would kind of all fit within this one umbrella term of a sour. Um, I chose the daiquiri because it doesn't have any ice once you're done making it, so it kind of will stay at a neutral level and won't finish diluting. That way you'll have time to taste the differences between them. So I'm gonna make three variations of a daiquiri, one which I'm gonna consider just right, one that is gonna be more tart, and one that's gonna be more sweet. And the idea behind this exercise is that we are gonna make three variations of the same cocktail, and all we're gonna do is alter the amount of each ingredient. That way, when you taste them side by side, you'll be able to actually see the difference of what makes a drink too tart or what makes a drink too sweet using the same template. And uh, this is a great exercise to do at home. And so I highly recommend that after you watch this video, you go and you grab a nice bottle of rum. I recommend Diplomatico Planas or uh, you could do Flor de Caña, extra dry, anything that's a really good white rum. Um, Plantation makes a really great one as well. And fresh lime juice and simple syrup. Uh, this is a great exercise to train your palate to know what is perfectly balanced and what is not. But all right, I'm just going to make these three cocktails and we're going to taste them side by side. All right, so we have here our three daiquiris. Um, I made each of these daiquiris with one and a half ounces of Diplomatico Planas uh, white rum. And then I did this one with if this one's gonna be the too sweet, this one's gonna be the balanced one, and this one's gonna be the too tart with too much lime. So, in this one, it was one and a half ounces of Diplomatico Planas, three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, and one and a quarter ounce of simple syrup. This one was the regular template for a sour, which was one and a half ounces of the rum, three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup, and this one was the one that had too much lime. So this was an ounce and a half of rum, one and a quarter ounces of lime juice, and three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. And again, this is really a fun exercise. Uh, you do get to drink a little bit, uh, so it is a fun way to get to learn what a balanced cocktail is. We're gonna first give a sip to the one that is too sweet. It's not bad. It, it just, it feels a little off. And this is what, this is why the exercise is important is that if you drank this one on its own, you probably would be like, oh, this is perfect. This is fine. The idea is to really narrow down the nuance of all of this. And so then before we try the one that's just right, we're going to skip ahead to the one that has too much lime and give this one a taste. And again, it's a little bit more tart. You may think, oh, you know what? That's drinkable. That's okay. But that's the idea is that you want to give yourself, uh, you want to do both ends of the spectrum and then find yourself in the middle. And then that way you'll go, aha, I see. That's the one where it's a little bit more balanced. All right. So now that we tasted those two, let's taste the one that's just right. And now this right here, it's the sugar level and the lime level are just right. It doesn't overpower the rum. The rum still shines the lime is there, the sugar is there, and at no point do you feel like there's an imbalance here. And that's what I'm trying to say is that 
None of these ingredients are gonna overtake the other and really take command of the cocktail. And this is what I mean by a well-balanced cocktail. This is a really great exercise. And like I said, you can do this with other styles of cocktails. So for example, if you wanna take a Manhattan and make three versions of it, uh, using different variations of the amounts of each ingredient, you'll be able to figure out what it is that, a, how a Manhattan should taste and how it should be balanced between the vermouth, the whiskey that you choose and the bitters that you choose. And not to mention how long you stir for. I choose daiquiris because there's less variables. You know, all you're doing is shaking, but it is a great one to do as well so that you can learn uh, how it is to perfectly balance a Manhattan as well. And again, as long as you pick a very simple cocktail, you can kind of do this with anything. And I, I highly recommend you doing this as a way to train your palate to figure out how to perfectly balance a cocktail. I've got three daiquiris to drink and I'll catch you in the next one.